What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation and never miss an episode of the biggest and best daily baseball show on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Kyle Bradish, who had a really solid outing with 7 Ks and 7 innings, giving up 2 runs on 2 hits. He had this elevated fastball for his sword, this curveball, as well as these vicious sliders. And those sliders were giving hitters trouble all day long. He faced George Kirby, who had 4 Ks and 6 in the 3rd innings, giving up 2 earned runs and had this 98 mile an hour heater. He got to two strikes a lot this game, but had a hard time putting away hitters. And those 4Ks were one fewer than I needed to win my parlay. Womp womp. Tanner Banks had 4Ks in two and two thirds innings, giving up only one run, and had this fastball slider and curveball. He faced Cutter Crawford, who had 4Ks in six innings, giving up four earned runs, and had this 96 mile an hour fastball as well as this sweeper. Hunter Brown was really good yesterday with 7Ks in six innings, giving up only one run thanks to his fastball, his hammer knuckle curves, as well as this splitter for a sword. He faced Tony Gonsolin, who had three Ks in five innings, giving up four runs, and had this slider and elevated splitter. Mackenzie Gore shoved yesterday with nine Ks in five innings, giving up only one run. He dominated mostly with his fastballs, but also had this slider mixed in. He faced off against Seth Lugo, who had four Ks in five innings, giving up three runs, had this backdoor two-seamer, this other two-seamer that ran 19 inches, as well as this curveball with almost 3,400 RPMs. Corbin Burns had three Ks in five and two-thirds innings, giving up four runs. He had these cutters, including this painted backdoor cutter, and apparently took those cutters to his hair as well, because the famous Corbin Burns flowing golden locks are gone. He battled Aaron Savali, who had five Ks in six innings, giving up four runs, and had these pretty curveballs. Garrett Cole had 7 Ks in 4 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 3 earned runs. He dominated mostly with his fastball, including these that were taken for strikes. And I couldn't tell if hitters were expecting something different sequence-wise, or they saw Trevino's glove moving down in the peripheral vision and thought they were getting sliders but got fastballs instead. Cole faced Nate Evaldi, who had 5 Ks in 5 and 2 thirds innings, giving up 2 runs relying mostly on his fastball and splitter, and here's an overlay of those two, and you can see why they work so well together. Zach Wheeler had eight Ks in five and a third innings, but gave up five runs. He had this elevated fastball, this dirty curveball, as well as this slider and sweeper. He's one of those guys that throws both a slider and sweeper. The slider being the faster pitch, and the sweeper slower and having more horizontal break. He faced Cookie Carrasco, who had 5 Ks in 4 innings, giving up 2 runs. And those Ks were due to his fastballs, sliders, and split change. Yusei Kikuchi had a very good outing yesterday with 8 Ks in 7 innings, giving up 1 run. And had this combination of fastballs, curveballs, and nasty sliders. He faced Luis Medina, who had 4 Ks in 5 innings, but struggled a bit with command, giving up 7 walks, leading to 3 earned runs. And he had this slider. Charlie F. and Morton had 7 Ks in 5 innings, giving up 3 runs, and had curveballs of 3,156 RPMs, 3,175 RPMs, and 3,199 RPMs. He faced Levi Stout, who had 2 Ks in 3 innings, one of those Ks on this fastball. Tyler Anderson had 9 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 3 earned runs, and had this fastball, cutters, as well as these change-ups. I have to think his funky leg kick throws hitters off a lot. And he also seems to vary it sometimes, switching up timing. He faced off against Austin Gomber, who had three Ks in five innings, giving up two runs, and had this very high curveball, as well as this curveball in the dirt. Over in the UK, Matthew Libertor had three Ks in two and a third innings, giving up four runs, but none of them were earned. He had this slider and curveball, and he faced Marcus Stroman, who went three and a third innings, giving up three earned runs, and had two Ks, one on this two-seamer and one on this slider. Bailey Ober had 8 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 3 runs, and had these fastballs, including this elevated fastball for a sword, as well as these sliders, and this nasty changeup. He faced Michael Lorenzen, who had 4 Ks in 5 innings, giving up 2 runs, and had these sliders. Anthony DiSclefani had 3 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 2 runs, and he had this knocking on the front door two-seamer. It didn't quite get there, but we'll take it. 
He faced Ryan Nelson, who had these changeups and sliders, and had six Ks in seven innings, giving up only one run. Daniel Lynch had two Ks in six innings, giving up only one run, and had this elevated fastball. He battled against yesterday's co-filthiest starting pitcher of the day, Tyler Glasnow, who had an amazing 12 Ks in only five innings, giving up only one run. Yep, that's 12 Ks out of 15 outs. And he just dominated hitters with his mix of fastballs, wicked sliders, and hammer curveballs. When Glasnow has his A game, he is one of the most dominant pitchers in baseball. Johan Oviedo had 6 Ks in 7 innings, giving up only one run, and had this mix of fastballs and sliders. And I thought his slider looked really good. But he was outdueled by yesterday's other co-filthiest starting pitcher of the day, Iuri Perez, who had 6 scoreless innings with 9 Ks, very nice, giving up only 4 hits. He's barely 20 years old and has a 21-inning scoreless streak in the major leagues. And he became the youngest pitcher since at least 1901 to have three consecutive scoreless outings of six innings or more. That's how good he's been. His fastball was up to 100 miles an hour. He had these filthy breaking balls and his usual wicked changeup. Here's a fun overlay of his curveball, slider, and changeup. And you can see how those pitches all converge to one spot. Instead of tunneling, this is more like funneling. And then here's an overlay of his 100 mile an hour fastball and his slider. And you can see how that slider kind of jumps over that 100 mile an hour fastball. And it shows you why he's so tough on hitters. If you're sitting fastball and you see that slider come in, you take a swing and you get nothing but air. Just filthy stuff. Another interesting fact, my two co-filthiest starting pitchers of the day are both six foot eight. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Yancy Almonte had this sweeper. Tyler Holton had these sliders and changeups. Hayden Wesneski had this fastball and sweeper. Jose Alvarado had this 100 mile an hour fastball and these nasty cutters. Aaron Bummer had this sinker and sweeper. Matt Brash had this elevated slider. Michael King had these filthy changeups. Mark Leiter Jr. had this splitter. Araldis Chapman had these sick 101 mile an hour and 100 mile an hour two seamers. Check out the filthy movement on those. Josh Spores had these curveballs. Ryan Presley had this nasty slider. Brock Stewart had this fastball and sweeper. Jose Soriano had this fastball, curveball, and slider. Kevin Kelly had this filthy sweeper. Seth Martinez had this sweeper. Craig Kimbrell had these knuckle curves and got swords on them. Pete Fairbanks had this 98 mile an hour cheese at the knees. Joan Duran had this 103 mile an hour fastball and 89 mile an hour curveball overlay. But my filthiest reliever of the day was another six foot eight pitcher, Felix Bautista. The Mountain had this ridiculous mix of 102 mile an hour fastballs, splitters, and sliders, absolutely annihilating hitters. And here's an overlay of his 102 mile an hour fastball and 91 mile an hour splitter. And you can see how much that splitter drops. Just an unfair mix. But my filthiest single pitch from reliever yesterday was this insane 103 mile an hour sinker with 18 inches of run and that drop. Look at the movement on this alien pitch. And here it is with the tail. And you can see just how filthy that thing is. Pure insanity from Jordan Hicks. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. It's Charlie Morton playing mascot frogger. What's up everybody? My picks of the day today are a three leg parlay. I'm gonna start out with the same game parlay of Reed Detmers for six Ks or more and Dylan Cease for seven Ks or more and top it off with Justin Verlander for seven Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 